When Mona Ansari was 13 years old, her family was forcibly evicted by the police from their home. They ended up living on the streets. This traumatic experience of injustice has shaped Mona's life. From these humble beginnings, she is now Nepal's first female Muslim lawyer. Mona is currently a member of the National Human Rights Commission, the only woman among five men. The commission, which was set up in 2000, is enshrined in Nepal's constitution. It is an independent body that aims to uncover human rights abuses and confront the government on these issues. The case of Maina Sunuwa is just one of almost 5,000 from the time of civil war that has been taken up by the commission. My daughter Maina was 14 years old. She was in the ninth grade. One day, soldiers came to our house. They wanted to question me, but I wasn't at home. So instead, they took my daughter to the army barracks. When Mina's frantic mother went to speak to the army the next day, those responsible for her daughter's abduction denied any wrongdoing and refused to give her any information. Devi Sunwar approached to Human Rights Commission and Human Rights Commission uh, wrote a letter to the Army and local security authority to asking the where about her daughter. And then later on, NHRC found the uh, graveyard of the Maina Sunwar. And then uh, our exhumant team found she was a severely torture and murder during the interrogation of the Army. So uh, NHRC uh, wrote a strong recommendation on this case to take uh, action against the perpetrator and provide a reparation to the victim family. Devi Sunawar's daughter is one of around 13,000 victims of the civil war that engulfed Nepal between 1996 and 2006. During this time, atrocities were committed by both Maoist rebels and the Nepalese army. The National Human Rights Commission plays an important role in the fight for justice and has been able to identify a large number of victims by carrying out exhumations. Nepal was hit by a severe earthquake in 2015. It claimed 9,000 lives and destroyed thousands of houses, public buildings and facilities. The Nepalese government set up a national authority responsible for reconstruction. But the National Human Rights Commission received reports about irregularities concerning the distribution of relief supplies and assistance for reconstruction. The main concerns are the forced relocation of villages, unclear land rights, injustices in connection with the caste system, and discrimination against women and sections of the indigenous population. NHRC mission is to monitor the situation of earthquake survivor. Most of the population who lived in a higher mountain, after earthquake they lost their legal paper, so they cannot produce uh, their legal document to the local authorities to get the um, post-earthquake identity card and uh, reconstruction money. Is that your house there? Yes, that's my house. My buffalo is still buried under the rubble. How many buffaloes did you have? Just this one. The roof fell off and killed him. I didn't get any money for him. But I hope you were given money to rebuild your house. We're building a new house over there, yes. But we only just got the money for it yesterday. Really? Is that true? Yes, only yesterday. If the commission identifies a human rights abuse, it first approaches the authorities in the district concerned. It has come to our attention that it takes a very long time before people receive the first instalment of the reconstruction assistance from the state. It has taken up to 16 months. Sometimes they don't have the right papers or there are no clear lists of the injured parties. The cooperation is not good. You don't understand. 
If this continues, people won't be able to repair their houses, and the reconstruction of Nepal will take forever, that's for sure. In 2015, violent clashes broke out in southern Nepal. The reason was the new constitution, which the southern provinces felt discriminated against them. 48 civilians and seven police officers were killed during the demonstrations. Representatives of the commission were already on the ground during the protests, monitoring the situation and interviewing those involved. Benita Kalwa's husband was hit by a bullet fired by a police officer during a demonstration. As I was driving to the hospital, I didn't know that my husband was dead. I thought he had only been seriously injured. But then, when I saw him, with his face covered by a cloth, I fainted. My youngest son just turned one. How am I going to be able to provide for my two children and mother-in-law? Members of the National Human Rights Commission record cases and support the victims' families by communicating with the authorities and courts. During the Tarai conflict, NHRC worked together with the civil society and the journalists and then advocates in, at local level, collecting the information and the fact sheet about the killing and excessive use of force. The squad leader here is giving two police officers the order to shoot. And this protester, Shadrugan Patel, is hit and falls to the ground. How far apart are they? About a hundred meters. Even if the demonstrators had been throwing stones, they would not have reached the police. But the crowds weren't even being violent. Our work to defend human rights is very dangerous because our investigations are leveled at the state. But thanks to the cooperation with the National Human Rights Commission, we feel reasonably safe and protected. Thanks in part to the activities of the Commission, Benita Kalwa and her two children received 10,000 US dollars in compensation. Since the death of her husband, Benita Kalwa runs the small restaurant alone. The future still looks bleak despite the compensation. The goal of the National Human Rights Commission is to strengthen human rights in the country. The Commission exerts pressure on the government in order to bring perpetrators of human rights abuses to justice. Mona Ansari, in her capacity as Speaker of the National Human Rights Commission, makes use of her presence at the UN Human Rights Council in Geneva. Finding of the NHRC shows that killings and injured due to the excessive use of force. Thus, I would like to re-emphasize to accept a recommendation for proper investigation and prosecution on excessive use of force. Mourner's statement before the Human Rights Council did not go unnoticed. After that, we are called by the head of the state, especially the, by the Prime Minister, on that meeting, why we made a, this kind of a critical statement in the international forum. Yeah, Mona Ansari was criticized not only by certain government agencies, but we had very frank talk with the Prime Minister also. I very frankly talked to Prime Minister that Human Rights Commission is not the office of the Prime Ministers. It is an independent, powerful constitutional organization. But still, government is not happy um, by our report sometimes. But we are not bothered whether the government is happy or not. Whatever we see, we publish it. Respect for human rights is essential for the development of a society. That is why Switzerland provides financial assistance to the Nepalese National Human Rights Commission.
So the Förderung der Menschenrechte, die Anerkennung von individuellen Rechten. The promotion of human rights and recognition of individual rights is integral to the political process that a new Nepal is being built upon. For us, it's an essential component of the commitment to peace and progress here. The country cannot advance without asserting individual rights that are universally recognized.